Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a more in-depth view of the Solo Stove Yukon. The stove's meant for a backyard fire pit, as you can see here. I've collected a bunch of sticks from the yard, so we're going to see how well it lights with that, and then we're going to move on to some not perfect, but regular firewood we had laying around. You can buy these covers from Solo Stove. They have a reinforced top, so they'll take snow and rain load pretty well. These are the bars. You can see they go into the little slots there and they're secured in the center. The reinforcements are made out of aluminum. They're not super strong, but so far they've held up through one winter. So you can see that the Yukon is a little bit dark. We are a little bit of pyromaniacs. I'm going to put some kindling in this and get it going. And of course I'm going to use my favorite fire starters which are homemade. They're just little cotton makeup squares with some mineral oil on it. You can see all the little fibers coming out as I fluff it. That's going to light really easy now. And we're going. Alright, while this is getting going, uh, let's go over the wood selection we have here for today. So we have some logs here. Some of them are split, like your normal backyard firewood size. We have some whole logs here. We have a variety of different species here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through all these. We also have some project pieces left over that we're not going to use for anything else so we're going to be able to burn those too and we also have some medium sticks here if we we didn't add anything to this fire to get it going just that fire starter and that kindling I'm going to throw a couple of bigger pieces to kind of weigh these little pieces down. We're going to burn through all the wood we have on the side here and see how long it takes to keep it going like this. That'll give us a good idea of how much wood we need for an average night in
are still burning really well, but I'm gonna put some of these whole unsplit logs in just to get them going. Because they're not split, they'll take a lot longer to get started. That was a pretty big piece of wood and it still fit in the stove and I could probably add a couple more that size. Okay, I'm gonna let those get started and then we'll add more of the smaller stuff as needed to keep the fire going. We started the stove with the kindling. We timed it before we put in the big logs and that was about five minutes. So another 10 minutes after that, these giant logs are already turning into charcoal. I was a little worried that they weren't gonna burn, but they are burning. Well, it's been 13 minutes since we started putting in the larger logs. Since the first two are burning so well, I'm gonna put a third one in. Now this one has a little bit of extra um, feathering on it just because it's pretty old. So it should light pretty well. The stove's burning pretty well in all areas except for one small corner. Now I think that's because we have quite a few big logs in there and we need to put some smaller logs in. It's been 23 minutes since we initially put those big logs in. So you can see back here in this corner, the air gasifying isn't quite happening out of these jets over here. So I'm going to put some smaller sticks in that area to help get more heat and more airflow going. It's been 33 minutes since we initially put those bigger split logs in. So we're gonna now add some of these smaller split logs to keep those really big logs that we put in burning well. Now, when you're burning in these stoves, you want to make sure you add some of these smaller kindling. So you can see here that the fire is burning really high all of a sudden, and there's some black smoke coming off. That's because I threw one of the project boards in that had some epoxy on it. So what you're seeing here is the epoxy burning. It's been about 35 minutes since we initially put the big logs on, and so of course, it's time for more logs.
All right, so you can see we've probably burned about a third of the logs we initially started with. All of the tinder wood is gone. We still have a few of the medium-sized logs, but this is about how much we've burned after 35 minutes. quite a bit of the larger size pieces. We're going to wait until this burns down a little bit more before we add more. been an hour and 25 minutes. I put some of the wood that I've already split in the fireplace, but it's ready for some more. So you can see I split this up quite a bit. It's no longer the big giant round pieces. This will burn much better. So it's been two hours and six minutes. We put in all the rest of our wood and we're just sitting back and relaxing at this point. Here we go. 